Tell us what a slime mold is. It's not a plant or an animal. Is it a fungus? What is it's a slime? It's not a plant. It's not an animal. It's not a fungus. It's not clear where it fits in the tree of life. Uh, its little scientific name is Maxomycete. I guess that's the way you would pronounce it. Um, it's a very weird organism. There's uh, no question about this. Uh, it's actually a, a unicellular organism um, that can be pretty big. All you see, all the yellow mass you see is one single cell here, and that can be several, you know, you can grow it on several square feet if you have enough time and food. And that's the single cell? It's a single cell. But unlike the cells you have in your body that all have a single nucleus, these can have millions and millions of nuclei inside. It's called a syncytium. Uh, it's a little name. Um, and, yeah, I mean, a little bit like you, right? The, I, I'm an animal behavior specialist originally, and uh, the reason I study slime all now is because I hired a guy a few years ago to work on ants, and then he came and said, I want to work on slime all instead. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, fine, what do you want to do with it? And he was like, well, I want to have them play the casino, and I was like, all right. Play the casino. The casino. Uh -huh. So we did an experiment where we had slime all play the casino, and then uh, the results were like, the slime all is actually pretty good at it. Oh, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> it wins against the casino. <laughs> Uh, so slime mold is capable of s solving this problem that seems to be a typical problem that we normally ask to organisms with brains. I mean, the, this casino experiment is called the multi arm bandit problem. It's something that is studied in pigeons and humans and all sorts of brain animals. Mm -hmm. And then we showed that it um, can be solved by organisms that don't have um, brains, don't even have neurons. And um, that's how we started. And then this summer we are very close to actually showing what are the molecular mechanisms allowing them to mm. make these decisions. If you allow me to talk about decisions. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. what, how, I mean, how do they do this? What are they, what are they doing? So they actually use their muscles for that, ah. which is kind of uh, contradictory. Yeah, so the slime, uh, if you have the video, if we can show the video again, and you, you might see that you have this pulsation Right, this, this is actually uh, so sped up, but this pulsation happens about every minute, minute and a half in the slime mold, and it's actually uh, the membrane of the slime mold contracting, expanding, and choosing actin myosin, which is the same type of proteins that are used by your muscles to contract. That's why oh. I call them muscles. Oh, okay. And um, that pulsation is essentially what helps the slime mold redistribute its biomass throughout its entire body. Now, what we seem to be happening is when the slime mold hits something that tastes good, it actually relaxes there. And just by sheer physics, right, everywhere else is pulsing, and so there is a flux of, uh, of material is going toward that location where that started relaxing. So it makes decision by finding something nice and then relaxing there. <laughs>